Hello, my name is John. I'm a lifetime rock hound and I teach lapidary for the last five years. I'm in the process of making several videos where I'm describing my favorite lapidary material. In a final video, I will go through and rank the stones from my least favorite to my most favorite. Hope you enjoy this. Pom-pom agate is the subject of this video. Pom-pom agate is a beautiful agate that comes from Study Butte, Texas at Needle Peak. It is noted for its pom-poms that are actually little saginite balls that form in the green agate. In this case, you can see the little saginites right at the bottom. It is a wonderful lapidary material. Here you can see the saginite forming right up above here. The, um, when you polish it, there are some problems because the green moss tends to undercut along with the uh, pom-poms will undercut a little bit. But it's such a beautiful material, it's totally worth the effort. Very little pom-pom is coming out these days. So when you find some on the market, expect to pay a reasonable amount of money for maybe a whole lot of money for a small piece, but the uh, results are well worth it. I would always buy pom-pom in slab form so you can see what you're getting. This is one of the most incredible pieces of pom-pom in my collection. I purchased it several years ago when the Woodward Ranch south of Alpine was still a rock shop. It was found, of course, in the Needle Peak District down by Study Butte, Texas. It is amazing because most of the time the yellow saginites that uh, create pom-pom are found in the green agate but embedded completely, uh, totally enclosed. In this case we have a situation where the pom-poms actually occur outside of the chalcedony and just it's great because you can see exactly how it forms. It's a one-of-a-kind piece. I've never seen anything else like it. Truly, truly amazing. We are looking at some very nice pieces of pom-pom agate. This piece that you are currently looking at is three and a half inches wide and two and a half inches high. This is a close up of the pom pom in this agate that gives it its name. Here you can see the pom-pom and the moss agate in front of it. Here the pom-poms are several and they're 
more of a white color. What we are looking at here is called a pseudomorph of agate after aragonite. It is seven inches wide and four and a half inches high. A pseudomorph is defined as something that takes the shape of something else. In this case, the yellow crystals that you see Here's the most outstanding one at this point right here. Is agate, but it has taken the shape of aragonite. I've put a piece of aragonite next to it so that we can look at the crystals. As you notice, they are six sided hexagons. So what's happened here is that the aragonite came first and then the agate formed over the top of those crystals. These are very unique specimens. Even though they are not lapidary material, it will always be a specimen, however, a very valuable specimen. They come from Needle Peak, exactly the same place that the pom-pom is found. So it would be amiss if I didn't present this mineral specimen along with my discussion of pom-pom. I believe that a person would be hard-pressed to put together a nicer group of pom-pom cabochons. Pom-pom is probably the least known of all the agates and stones that I discuss in this series. But when it is polished correctly, it is a fabulous stone. The pom-poms, or the saginite bursts, as I've discussed, really make this an outstanding material. I don't know how much is coming out of Big Bend anymore at Needle Peak, but clearly there is very little I want to thank you for watching these videos. At this time, I would like to introduce my assistant, Lilac. Hi. She's also my granddaughter. <laughs>